Okay, so I've been listening to Sour on the road for literally the entire drive. Her vocals are so, they're so good. Yesterday I probably listened to it five, six, seven times. The album is like half an hour, times like five or six. That's like two to three hours a day of listening to the same album. So what am I doing today? I've got a cute outfit on, I'll show you later. It's really cute. Actually, I'm gonna show you right now. I have this red jacket on, it's really cute. I got from my grandma's closet. She made this by hand though. And I think it's really such a pretty color. It's like a burnt reddish orange. So it's already burnt, but then it's burnt again. Anyways, also these pants, you guys have seen them before. I got them from Retro Vintage. And then this little tank top I got from my sister's closet. And then rings and some necklaces. There's my fit. <laughs> I have nowhere else I can put my phone to show you what I'm wearing. It's not me, it's you. Remember that. Some good advice. Not me. It's you. I like this outfit. I wanted to take myself on a solo date. Well, pretty much everything I do is a solo date because I do a lot of things alone. So I wanted to go to my favorite museum called the Norton Simon Museum. It has the coolest collection. There's a lot of beautiful impressionist art there. And also the gardens are half of the reason you gotta go. I'm not convincing you to go. But if you go, that's half of the reason why I love it there. Impressionist art does this beautiful thing that makes my heart go boom, 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 boom. Like hair on people's heads, it makes it billowy. The leaves on the trees move like a sea of fish, you know? Oh my god, is there a fire? Oh my god, that's a bad fire. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm like driving into the fire. Holding my breath. Alright, I gotta get out of this. This is bad. It smells like a campfire in here. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know why I'm apologizing. I didn't create that fire. My hair looks, I feel like a rectangle. I feel like a Karen. Maybe I should like spike it up and give like JT early 2000s vibes. Anyways, I realized, oh yeah, I can do things alone. And now that museums are open again, now that I'm vaccinated, I can enjoy the things I used to do. Don't run into me, car. You can't tell me that you don't call your bathroom tunnels because, oh my God, Olivia Rodrigo song through my head all day. <coughs> oh, that smoke. It's brutal out here. <laughs> Anyways, let's go on an adventure! Come with me! One more thing, I'm super late to the museum. I'm like 12 minutes late. I was too busy doing eyeliner a million times and this is all I ended up with. Some dots. Um, I hope it was worth it. I hope I can get in. I will. Okay, I arrived at the museum, walked up these very eventful steps to this gorgeous statue garden, and first thing I went to see was Picasso portraying me. Um, yeah, I don't know about you, but this guy looks very gay. Like, come on. Not to mention Mary and Jesus were painted by daddy. I mean, if Mary had a couple of daddies, why can't I? Anyways, here's a romantic little film of my time at the museum. It's so gorgeous here. Oh my god. Do you see this? <laughs> and I think it's only fair to end this beautiful museum compilation with this Mogdiliani. I think that's how you say it. Which trigger warning, scary moving picture, lol, totally reminds me of the scary painting fear thing from It. Uh, tell me, I'm not the only one who sees it. Well, that was actually way more fun than I was expecting. I kind of feel cloudy and, um, what's the word? Numb a little bit right now, so. I think it's just because I haven't eaten. Like I ate that little orange, mandarin orange and stuff, but I'm f***ing hungry. I'm gonna go eat. I think that'll make me feel better. But I had a good sign, Norton Time and Meat, Norton. Back a lot. I think I need food. I'm so cloudy and foggy and numb a little bit, but the museum was really great and I had a really great time until I got numb. Then I journaled a little bit and now I feel like I need to um, eat food. <laughs> I don't know what to get. Chicken? We'll see. Mendoz. I apologize for that singing, that was atrocious. Please accept my apology. I feel like I look like a men in black character. <laughs> or not. Look how cute this building is that I found in Pasadena. You know, I'm sorry, that was really a lot of energy. But look how cute it is! With the green windows, and the brick, and the trees. I don't know, I just, it's pretty. All right, let's go eat my Mendo's in the park. There's the building. It's so cute. I'm doing nothing interesting, I'm just eating. Um, a sandwich, so, bye. Actually, I lied. I've got some shit I want to say about Mendo's. This <laughs> is the best, leafiest, healthiest, but not healthiest tasting sandwich ever. Nothing better. Also, look at these jacaranda trees. And it makes me really happy. Also, my hair looks like it's doing a whoom, whoom, and I don't like it. Look, I literally look like a princess right now with that beautiful building in the background. <laughs> 
my ass. It's great. Anyways, back to eating. Does anyone else like this? You leave the last bite of food just because, like, I seriously feel like I'm gonna throw up if I eat one more bite. I don't know what it is. Does anyone else? Yeah, probably not. I know my sister does. She will gag if it's like the last piece of food she can't end up. I will eat it. I'm just gonna save it. <laughs> Look, eat it. The piece that I feel here is unmatched. I don't dream of labor. I dream of this. I dream of peace. I dream of laying in a park all day long, every day, for the rest of my life. Underneath beautiful blooming jacaranda trees. So that's that. <laughs> Did you see the bees? <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> I don't know why I'm not. I'm kind of tired and I want to go home. But anyways, I got insomnia cookies in West Hollywood. I never eat here in West Hollywood. I've gone here out bar hopping maybe less than five times in the five years that I've lived here. These are fine. I just wanted to do one more thing by myself today because, you know, cute date vibes. One thing I do forget about gay neighborhoods is that they play all the music I like. They play all the divas, all the pop stars, all the queens, and I love that. This isn't very good, but I'm eating it because I bought it. <laughs> anyways, thanks for joining me on my date. I guess it wasn't a solo date because you came. Rude. Thanks for interrupting me on my self journey time. Anyways, bye. <laughs> yeah, I'm listening to Sour for like the 18th time today. All right, I'm in just such a giggly mood. Bye.